Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the all new Miniverse Make It Mini Appliances Series 1. This is crazy. I don't even know what to expect. But it looks like we get an appliance here of some sort. And we have our usual resin and ingredients and some accessories. There are two styles, apparently, maybe for each one to collect. I'm not sure. And let's see, oh, there are eight total to collect. So we have some more right here. I really want the soda one. I can't wait to see the checklist. That'll be really cool to see. But let's go ahead and open it up. I don't know if this is any indicator. Maybe it is. It does say espresso. Um, it might mean there's an espresso machine in there, but I'm also not sure. We'll see. So, let's open up this layer. I think since that's the only one on the second layer, it is a clue as to what you get inside. I don't know though. I guess these aren't really mysteries, you know what I mean? Not like, uh, these are more like the holiday ones we've seen. But we'll definitely know for sure when we get this open. So, let's get this next one open, or this next layer open. And see, so this capsule, does not have a transparent top. It's like this, the bottom twice. We have, all right, here's like our checklist and our instructions and all of that stuff, which I will definitely need. Definitely want to see this checklist and what it's all about. So, first up we have, okay, all right, so, I'm seeing it now. So there are eight to collect, but they're just different colors of each. So there's just total, there's a soda fountain, an espresso machine, a boba machine, and a juice dispenser. So like we got the espresso machine, right? We could get either one of these. So that's gonna be interesting to collect. At least it narrows it down for you. So we've got the soda fountain, the lemon lime soda fountain, the mocha espresso machine, the boba machine, the juice dispenser, raspberry it looks like. We've got the orange soda fountain here, the latte espresso machine, the peach boba machine, and the lemon juice, lemonade juice dispenser. And then on the back, it shows us, there's actually only four recipe cards on the back. It shows you how it works. So you like load up your machine with your bottle of resin and your ice or whatever other ingredients you have and then you use it to fill up your goodies. This looks really fun. Okay, I can't wait to check this out. So we do have instructions, which I might need to utilize just in case, so I will get them out, and I'll just set that one off the side. All right, so here is the espresso machine we got. We got the mocha one, which is actually a really beautiful color. I like it a lot. Okay, so here's like our little handle. Oh, I see. So you can see it opens, and then that closes it. And then let's see, I guess it opens up here and that's where we put our resin bottle. I'm a little unsure how this works. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to dump all your resin in there. It looks like you just set it in there, but it might need to set there for a while so you can actually squeeze it or pour it or something, you know, because sometimes it takes a while for it to settle. But anyway, here is the machine. It looks really cool. I love all the details. Just like the on and off button. It's not a real button or anything, but it looks really cool. Uh, but this lid just opens. That's the only other thing other than this that actually works on it. So let's set that there. And I guess we'll check this out, whatever this is. So we got a made fresh little thing, whatever we want to call that. These look like our ingredients, and this looks like our accessories. So let's see if I could start opening this up got a little plate, a little saucer, and some little mugs. This is so cute. This is such a cute little set. Oh my gosh. All right. So we've got the, they're white on the bottom, or white inside the cups, white on the bottom of the plates, yellow on top of the plates, yellow on the outside of the mugs. And then they sit like that. That's really cute. I love it. Okay. And then we'll open up our ingredients. Maybe, there we go. So first things first, I'm gonna take our coffee. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna set it upside down in there. So it's just the Rise and Shine Mocha Coffee because I think it's gonna need to collect up. I wonder how washing this out is gonna be. Set that 
there. It doesn't really close very well with that in there. All right, and then we've got our whipped cream and two spoons. Okay. How do we want to do this? I could reference our instructions or our recipe card. So they recommend that we pour in the cocoa or <laughs> the coffee and then we put on the whipped cream dollop. I mean, simple enough. There's two whipped creams in here. I'm excited to get this ready to go. I think I want to let it sit there for a minute though. Um, what I could do is I could go ahead and set, I'm gonna set a cup under here. So I'll show you kind of up close. Now, when I open this up, it might spill a little bit out. Let's see, is anything coming? Oh yeah, it's a slow drip. It's a slow drip for sure, but it's coming out. It's both sides too. So this is what I mean, like if we set it upside down for a little while, because it does take, it, take quite a bit of time to, uh, <laughs> actually all settle to the top of the bottle. It'll be it'll be much faster and really cool. This is awesome though, I love it. Oh my, all right, so I don't know if I wanna close it and then open it back up when I know it has more in it, but it's looking great in there so far. I can't really show you guys, but it's looking fantastic. I'm so excited. It's actually filling up quite quickly too. I didn't expect that. Um, and it has two little drips, that's pretty awesome too. It definitely speeds things along. It's almost halfway. I kind of am thinking I want to cure it halfway anyway. So if we turn that and we let it drip off, which there's one drip there, <laughs> but we'd want to cure it halfway maybe so that we could put the whipped cream right on top. I don't know. I think I might just go ahead and keep it going there and we'll just go till it fills up which might take a minute. But you can see how much faster it is now that I stopped it and let it fill up for a second. This is cool. Again, I don't know how cleanup will be. Don't ever wash the resin down your drain. That is not good. Um, I know using rubbing alcohol and paper towels will usually help, but I just don't know how cleaning is gonna be with this particular machine with all of that going on. So it's something I'll have to figure out, but it's still really cool. I love the, the replay value of this. Especially if like you left one empty and then we're like, okay, hold on. And then came back and <laughs> this one was made. But anyway, this is so cool. I love this. I'm definitely gonna wanna find some more of them. I definitely wanna find the soda machines because they come with like little ice. Um, let me see, like this little ice dispenser. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. But it looks like, I'm gonna cut it off there. It looks quite full actually. Should I go ahead and fill up the other cup maybe? I don't want the drips to like get everywhere. I have my light. I also don't want the, let me see if I can do that. Okay, so there it is. I think I'm gonna cure it like this and then we'll come back and do a little bit more on the top and add on the whipped cream just so it doesn't fall in there and I can get it to cure really well. So I'm just gonna set that there to cure. And I guess we may as well get the other one done, right? Let's go ahead and open it up. It's definitely a slow drip now, <laughs> but I could definitely set that in the back for now while we let that cure. All right, this one is ready to be cured. And then we can go ahead and put a little bit more in the other one and we can add the whipped cream on. This one is all ready to go, so we'll go ahead and open this up. We just need a little bit to come out. I don't know how much is left, <laughs> but we just need a tiny bit. It looks like there's still some drips. I mean, it could, no, it's not gonna work that way. It's coming out. It's coming out, hold on. Yes, okay, honestly, we don't need much more than that. We just need a, a drop and then, Get the whipped cream. So I've got this is the look, and then we'll just go ahead and plop this on. It kind of just looks like hot chocolate to me, and I love it. So now I could cure it like that, but let's uh, wait for the other one. 
to cure and then we'll add the whipped cream to that one. While, while we are waiting for that to cure, I'm gonna actually open this up and take this out. Ooh. All right, and I'm kind of curious. It does look like there's quite a bit of resin still in there. So I'm just gonna put this back on and we're gonna use it <laughs> to add on the whipped topping. All right, let's go ahead and take that off of there and we can go ahead and add on a little bit more. So we just gotta wait for that to come out of there. Shouldn't take long, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, it's actually coming out quite quickly. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we'll take this and we'll go ahead and put our whipped cream dollop on there and then I'll go ahead and cure this one as well. I wanted to show you guys that this piece does come out as well to make for an easier cleanup, which is really, really nice. It kind of looks like, oh no, I was going to say that part comes out too, but it doesn't. But at least this will make for such an easy cleanup. All right, order up. <laughs> there are our lattes. Wait, is it lattes? Did we get the latte one? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the mocha. The latte was the, the other machine, the pink machine. There's our coffee. <laughs> it kind of looks like hot cocoa though, but it looks amazing. I'm so excited. This was really, really fun. Um, I'm working on cleanup right now with this and it's looking like um, some rubbing alcohol is working. But anyway, it's gonna take a minute to clean this up, but I'm very, very, very excited for these little appliances. This is so much fun. You'll have to let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Oh my goodness, this spoon is not staying there. But like I said, I'm very excited to check out all the other appliances and get like the, the soda fountain. Obviously we're still missing the soda fountain and the boba machine and the juice dispenser and of course the other espresso, espresso, espresso machine. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to the soda fountain because they have the little ice dispensers. This is going to be so much fun. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.